Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. For today's video, I want to talk about a few products that I did not think I was going to like at first that really impressed me. Like my initial opinion, like my first reaction compared to how I feel about them now, night and day. And honestly, this is why I don't do first impressions. Well, I do, but I don't do first impression reviews because the way you feel about a product initially compared to once you have tested a product out thoroughly can really vary and I feel like that tends to be the case. I thought this video would be a fun one. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kelly. I upload four videos a week all about cruelty-free beauty. I love talking about drugstore beauty. I love doing like industry deep dives. So if you are into any of the above, be sure to subscribe and let's go ahead and hop into it. Let me start with a blush. Okay, so this was, was this, this, this was the Sephora birthday gift last year. This is from Milk Makeup. This is their blush stick. This is a little mini in the shade work. Okay, let me pause and just say, if you're gonna buy any of the stick products from Milk Makeup, I would get the mini. Unless it's the only one you have, like the only blush you have, the only bronzer you have, I would get the mini because the full size will last forever. And this was in the Sephora birthday gift and I was kind of excited to try it. I'd heard great things about it. The first time I used it, you know, I applied it as you do and I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to like this. And I will say, what I have learned about myself, I don't prefer my cream cheek products to be in a stick format. Instead, I prefer like a liquid or a powder, but this, the first few times that I used it, because of the texture, like it kind of, it doesn't pick up your foundation in a way that you will see it removed, but sometimes I would see foundation on this, on like the crayon. But what I've learned about this, I really like it for a very natural blushed effect. So it's not necessarily going to be the blush that I reach for every single day that I'm doing my blush. But if I wanna look like I just came back from the beach or if it's like a no makeup makeup type of day, I will take this and draw just a stripe across my face, get it on my nose, get it under my eyes, everywhere. And it gives the most natural sunburnt look and it's like error proof. So I wasn't sure about this one at first, but it has grown on me so much. Again, not for like my glam blush, not for my everyday blush, but for that specific, very natural look, this is really great for achieving it. Okay, let's talk about lips. I feel like my preference in lip products has completely flopped. So today I would say this lip look, this lip combo is a little bit more old Kelly and even right before sitting down, there were so many times that I almost wiped it off and redid it. Cause I'm like, this isn't, this isn't what I like to wear on my lips anymore because I used to prefer a liquid lipstick and that's full opacity. And I had that on at first. I had on just a liquid lipstick and then I put a gloss over top cause I was like, mm, I'm not into this. And I'm still sitting here like, mm, it's too opaque. It's too much because my preferences have totally flopped for these ones that I'm about to talk about. Okay, so most recently, it was this one. This is the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil. This comes in a ton of shades, and I originally purchased this to test out for a dupe video because I was sent the Sigma Lip Oil and I really fell in love with it, and I didn't think I was going to, but I ended up really liking it. Now, with this ColourPop one, the very first time I applied it, I applied it without a lip liner or anything, and I did not like it. I was instantly like, mm, I kind of wish I didn't buy this. I'm not a fan of it, but when paired with a lip liner, it is so beautiful. It is so subtle. It's like, I, when I was sitting down to film this today, I couldn't find it because I had to go through all of my purses I've used recently. So I was like, was it in this purse? Was it in this purse? Because I always want to take it with me now. I have mine in the shade Smirk. And I will say it's not like the most long wearing product. I do find myself reapplying it quite frequently, but the effect of it is just so beautiful. And for some reason that is the look I've been trying to achieve recently with lip products. I don't want as much of an opaque lip anymore. I don't want as much of like an ombre lip, like a done up look. I almost want it to look like I'm basically wearing nothing, just a little lip liner and some oil. And this has been the one I've been reaching for 90% of the time recently. This or the Sigma one. I really love both of them. But this one for the video, because when I first tried it, I was like, no, I don't like this at all. But it's grown on me so much that I wear it almost daily. Okay, and with that, same thing with this gloss. This is from Persona. This is the gloss in Twilight. I, okay, makeup, it just comes in phases. So I was a gloss girl, I wasn't a gloss girl. But this type of gloss, this is a sheer gloss 
with a slight tint to it and some glitter, which I had really gotten away from, but they released this shade at some point last year, so I was testing it out and again, I didn't think I was gonna like it at first and I didn't the first time I wore it. I was like, no, this isn't really my style, but I'm just making a change and now I just wanna wear a lip liner that's practically matching my lip color anyways and then something like this on top because it's so sheer but it looks very natural and beautiful. Or category number three, tinted lip balms. I was never a tinted lip balm girl. I used to think that it was almost silly to wear a tinted lip balm because I'm like, if I'm gonna do that, I might as well put on a lipstick. If I just want hardly anything, I'd rather just wear a balm. Like I don't want something in the middle and now that's all I want. So I have, well, I have three tinted lip balms. I have these two high-end ones, plus I have one from e.l.f., which is a great dupe, but the Persona E-Balm, in the shade Meditate is like my most used go-to. It looks like your lips, but better. You really can't tell you're wearing makeup, but it's beautiful. And I also have one from Becca. Try to get your hands on these while they're going out of business. You can find this stuff on sale now. This is the shade Tide. I would say Tide and Meditate are pretty similar. Let me swatch them. Tide has a little bit more of a pink undertone, but I mean, you can see it's, there's not a lot of pigment there, so they end up looking kind of similar. I mean, there they are side by side. They look like such a similar shade. Both so beautiful, look very natural, leave your lips looking dewy and plump. But again, first time I tried these, these were sent to me in PR and it's something I would not have picked up on my own, but I was testing them out for review and first time I tried them, I was like, you know, they're good for what they are, but they're probably not for me. And now I wear them all the time. Let's talk brushes for a second. This gigantic brush is from BK Beauty. This is their 105. And you saw me mention this in my summer favorites, but this was a brush that when I got this, this came to me in PR also, I thought to myself, who needs a brush that big? Like what would I even do with a brush this giant? But I was wrong. And okay, so I have used this to apply foundation. I know it looks giant for that. And I know that probably would not be your initial thought, but I have used it to apply like a tinted moisturizer or more of a lightweight, light coverage foundation. And I love the look because it's so dense, but it's so soft. So it's not too dense where it's not gonna blend the product out and it's too stiff to move it around, but it has enough like softness to it that it really just like blurs everything into place. But what I love this for is powder. So when I'm using a pressed powder and I just want to dot, I will like swirl around in it. And again, it's the perfect size because the shape of this is like the exact same size as a round powder compact. So I swirl around, do some tapping. And yes, it is a large brush, but I've started to like really fall in love with the size. And now I look at a lot of my other powder brushes and I'm like, how did I ever live with a powder brush that small? when I could just have this giant one and do three taps and be done. I've just been so surprised at how much I like this. Now, the category that I would say is the most common for I didn't like it at first, and then my opinion completely flipped, say it with me, it's mascara. Mascara, okay. I would compare it to music. <laughs> I would compare mascara to music. So tell me if this is YouTube, because whenever I hear a song for the first time, I usually don't like it. And I know if I like a song the first time I hear it, I'm gonna get sick of it very quickly. And if I don't like a song at first, I'm either gonna just end up never liking it or I'm gonna fall in love with it and be obsessed. That applies directly to mascara. So if it is good the first time you use it, I feel like it's only got a little bit of time. Like it's only gonna be good for a few weeks. But if I don't like it at first, I will either continue to not like it or we're gonna take a turn and it's gonna be amazing. Are, are, do you guys relate to this? Is this a me thing? Okay, let's talk about them. The one that really fits in that category is the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. So this mascara has one of the largest wands that I've ever seen on a mascara. This is a new one, I've used mine up, so I just opened it for the first time. I'm gonna use this one tomorrow and I can't wait. But just look how gigantic the wand on this is. And with mascara, especially if the formula is a bit more of a wet formula, it just takes a little bit for it to reach its peak. But something about this bite formula takes a little bit longer than normal. Normally week one or two is when a mascara starts to make that turn and get way better. With this one, I would say it took maybe to like week three or four until I started to 
completely fall in love with it and think it was the best mascara ever. This is super bold, super dramatic. Like if you prefer more of a subtle lash look, this is probably not for you, but if you almost want your eyelashes to possibly look like falsies, like this will get you there. This is next level volume. If you give it a week or two, no, two to three weeks to get there. The other mascara in this category is this newer one from Essence I've been talking about in a lot of videos. This is the Lash Princess Curl and Volume. This I would say is quite different from the bite. This is not as intense. So this is the mascara that I'm wearing today. I do think it looks a little bit more subtle, but weirdly, I'm moving that direction. I've been liking more subtle mascara looks. I don't know, I don't know who I am. Subtle lipstick, subtle mascara. I didn't see it coming either, but with this one, it doesn't clump. It's it, like, it can't clump. It just looks like it separates so well. Now it does claim to like curl and lift. I don't know about that. I feel like you really need a waterproof mascara to hold a curl, but I do think that this gives like a subtle lift because it doesn't weigh your lashes down. It's not too volumized where they're too thick. They just look natural and wispy and fluttery. The first time I used it though, again, I was like so disappointed the first time that I used this because I felt like it did nothing. It was just barely coating my lashes. But after a couple days, it just got so much better. And now this is one of my favorites for a more subtle lash look. Again, if you want that full intensity, go with the Bite or the Urban Decay Lash Freak. Those are the two most intense mascaras that I've personally tried. But if you want more of a natural lash that is still bold, this one is perfect for that. Okay, let me know down below if you guys have tried any of these products, what your thoughts are. Did you like them the first time that you tried them? Let me hear your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.